The document known as the Magna Carta is 800 years old, but its significance is still huge. When it was created in England in the year 1215, it laid out the principle that no man was above the law, not even the king. It gave everybody the right to a fair trial and said that no man should be imprisoned without the lawful judgment of his equals. Well, today, the four surviving copies of the Magna Carta have been brought together for the very first time at the British Library in London. With me now is David Mao, Deputy Librarian of Congress in Washington, who has been to see the four copies. What was that like, David? It's just truly amazing to see four copies of documents that have been around for 800 years and that still have so much significance in the world today. Why is the Magna Carta significant for Americans? Well, for Americans, it, it relates to long history, particularly because of our close relationship with the United Kingdom and our hist uh, heritage from England. Uh, with the colonies and so it shows that over the 800 years we have inherited those rights those ancient rights that were first documented in 1215 and they're still very important to our founding fathers and important to us today Partic which rights are we looking at in particular uh, so for example we trace our uh, from our constitution our bill of rights we trace back to as you had mentioned earlier uh, the right to uh, a jury trial, uh, the right to tax, uh, the right to not be taxed without any agreement by the people, the right to due process of law. These are inherent rights that we trace back to Magna Carta. I uh, read one of the custodians uh, of one of the Magna Carta saying, whenever there's attack, an attack on the rule of law throughout the world, you realize just how vital the Magna Carta is, because before it, the king could do what he wanted to do. And there are places, obviously, in the world where this isn't the case anymore. And that is correct. And that is one of the reasons why at the Library of Congress, we just recently closed an exhibition. We had one of the four existing. We had the uh, Lincoln 1215 uh, Magna Carta at the Library of Congress for 10 weeks. And one of our hopes was not only to show the connection to our American founding fathers and how they developed the principles that rule our country today, but also be a beacon for the emerging democracies to show them the importance of this document and carry forth with the younger generation, with the other people in the world I mean, that you, need. You mentioned the younger generation. Is this something that children study at school in America? Yes, it is. It is very, very important. We had lots of children come through. Over the 10-week period, we had about 112,000 people see our exhibition, many of them children. And we're hoping that that message sent, uh, resonates with them very well, that they've seen it. As a librarian, you must have been interested in the preservation of these documents, 800 years old. Yes. What is done to make sure that in 800 years' time we can still see a Magna Carta? Well, certainly very important to have temperature, humidity uh, controlled, and we had a special case for Magna Carta, and it, it, here at the British Library, it's also in very special preservation uh, environment. And it's very, very important so that we maintain that. Over the years, there have been some preservation techniques some not so successful, and as we know and understand documents and uh, materials and chemistry now better, we hope that we can preserve it for another 800 years. And I'm years. guessing security must have been pretty tight as well. Yes, indeed. Very, very tight and uh, very, very well uh, controlled. And lucky to say that we were able to send it back with no problems. <laughs> okay, and uh, would it be, do you think, possible for the Magna Carta to travel again to America and go on tour? Do you see that as something that people would be able to, to gain something meaningful from if they were to go and see it? I think certainly it would be. Uh, as I'd mentioned, we had 112,000 people just in Washington DC and America is a big country I think if Magna Carta made its way to other places many many other people would see it as well well David love it to have you with us uh, we're talking about old documents we've got one for you now that you'd be very interested in as a librarian because we're going to stay with the subject